the audience reception for Mother Jaw, it, it was quite a transformative uh, event for me to come out of the show after going through that whole ritualistic process and all of those really heavy themes to come out and, and be met with love and support. It's, okay. It just washes over you, you know, it's like, you don't, when you make work, you don't really plan for that. You don't plan to be loved. You don't, you don't plan to have anyone clap. You don't plan to win awards or anything, especially as someone who's had to fight for it and someone who's never felt like they belonged anywhere to really felt like I belong somewhere was quite incredible. Sometimes your tongue is cut out of your mouth at birth. Sometimes your mother gives you salt instead of water. Sometimes you dye your clothes with someone else's clay. Sometimes I mistake being a woman with being everything else at once. The, the first dance or dancer I saw myself reflected in was Janet Jackson. <laughs> she was also my first concert <laughs> when she came here. My mother being Palangi knew that I needed to see myself reflected early. So she introduced me, not just Janet, a lot of people, but I really connected to Janet early on. And I saw this woman of color, like so powerful on stage and like natural curly hair and beautiful dark skin and just ex expressing her sexuality and just talking about domestic violence and you know, just dancing amazingly <laughs> and just wearing amazing clothing and looking strong, like physically and holistically. So what I really wanted to, to have behind Mother Joy was to be able to allow the audience to see themselves reflected in it. So that was a really important message as well for, for the wider community, especially people of colour, to see themselves reflected and see themselves voiced in the work. I also really wanted just to have um, Palangi people talk about what it's like for them. Like I literally had a whole section in it and people loved it. And they and, and I had um, Palangi people come up to me afterwards saying, "That's exactly how I felt," and I've never been able to say it. So that was really cool too to to connect each each other. Like literally, like my name in some countries translates as vessel. So like that's literally my job is to be able to transport messages. So I can't take any any credit for anything. Um, I but I was so humbled to have that affirmation to be able to keep going, it's so important. And I think especially in Auckland and in New Zealand, we have a habit of not giving affirmation to those who need it or who deserve it. We, we like to um, shrug everyone off, pretend like no one's that talented. But there are a lot of talented people here, so to have someone be like, I'm giving you that affirmation to keep going and keep going, it's a blessing. Listen. <laughs> and over and over, and over and over.